Good morning. Good morning. This is the grade one literacy lesson. I am Marisha Williams. Today is the 28th of April 2020. Today we are going to do the g sound. We are going to listen and read a story. We are going to answer questions, write the letter, and write a sentence. G. Gabby has a goat. The goat eats green grapes. They are so great. The grapes grow on the right side of a tiny gray gate. Go, go, go! Get your grapes, my girl, says Gabby. Can you see the girl standing here? And what's standing next to her? It's her goat. And there we have a gate. Gate. And what color is the gate? The gate is grey, yes. What else does the gate look like? It is tiny. Very good. And look at these delicious grapes. Very good. G. G. Now on your screen you will see the G in green. Gabby has a goat. The goat eats eight green grapes. They are so great. The grapes grow on the right side of a tiny gray gate. Go, go, go get your grapes, my girl, says Gabby. Now you can count all the g sounds that you see on the screen and it appears in green. Count all the g that you see on your screen. Yes, let's count that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen. Very good. Okay. Now it's time to answer some questions. Comprehension time. What is the name of the girl who owns a goat? Gabby. Yes, her name was Gabby. The goat eats grapes. Is this true or false? That's true. How many grapes did the goat eat? He ate eight grapes. Describe the gate. Number three, describe the gate. The gate was gray. Very good. What else did the gate look like? It was a tiny gate. Yes, a small gate. A small gray gate or a tiny gray gate. Very good. Choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. The grapes grow on the A, top, B, right, or C, left. The grapes grow, so did the grapes grow on top, on the right, or on the left? On the left side, which one? On the right, good. So our answer will be B. Now you're going to have to draw a picture for this one. Gabby stands next to the robot when she tells her goat to go. Can you remember? She said, go, go, go. Go get your grapes, my girl. So what does the robot look like when you can go? Draw a picture of that. 
All right, so you can draw a picture of what the robot looks like. Okay. And now we are going to practice writing this pattern up at the top of your page. We are going to write this pattern up, around, back, around. Just follow me with your finger on the page first before you try to write this. Round, go back, around, and back, around, and back. Okay. Up, around, oh, and go back, like you make a cut. And up, around, and go back, making a cut. And we're only going to lift up our hand when we've finished. Okay. Up, around, and back. Okay. It's your turn to do your pattern. Actually going to try it on here. Okay. Right. So we are going to write down our G. Oh, what was that? Around, back, and around, and back. Around, and back to make a curve. Oh, and there we go. Did you see? I've only lifted up my hand at the end. Okay. Now, our next row, we are going to write down the G sound. Okay, the letter G. And we go... Just watch before you are going to do it. Around, up, down, and around. Finger space. Can you see there's a cut? We go up, down, and around. Around, making a cut. Up, and there you've got the eh. Do you see there? And then you go all the way down for a G. One more. Around, up, down, and around. Okay, so you're going to do another row of that. Very good. Okay. Right. <clears throat> All right, then you're just going to write down a G and have a space open because you're going to draw a picture over there and do another G with a little space and another G. And then we're going to write down this sentence. Write the sentence on your page at the bottom. Gabby's goat eats eight grapes. Gabby's goat eats eight grapes and then you are going to count how many gifts are there on your page in the sentence and you color them trace them over in the color green okay then you write down the number how many gifts are there that you've written down okay Hmm. Let's look at the pictures that we have over here. Let's go over the words that we have in our story. Green, girl, gate, goat, grapes, and gray. Can you match the first one? This one? Green. Match it to the picture. Like that. 
Very good. So on your screen, can you match the follow the next one, goat? This word over here, let's do this one. Match it to the picture. It's goat. Very good. What does this one say? Match that one. Which picture do you choose? It's girl. Very good. And now this word. Match that one. Grapes. Very good. And over here. Gate. Good. And the last one. That's gray. Well done. Let's read the sentences. This is green. This is green. This is a girl. This is a girl. This is a gate. This is a gate. This is a goat. This is a goat. This is gray. This is gray. These are grapes. These are grapes. So you can choose any of these sentences that you maybe want to write again on your page and make sure that you write the G in color. So now we've come to the end of our lesson. Complete your page with a G sound. Draw your pictures next to the G. Okay, well done. Tomorrow we will be doing the Ag word family. See you tomorrow at 9.